hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is augusta and on this channel i make videos about hair beauty lifestyle diy and vlog videos please hit the subscribe button down below and join this amazing youtube family we are just going to jump right into this video the first thing i like putting into my daughter's hair is water this helps soften her hair and make it easier to work with the next thing i am using is this hair grease for hair growth that i made myself my daughter put her hair recently and she has a bad spot by the side of her hair and at the back so i decided to start a 30 days hair challenge for her and i have the video on my channel so i'm going to leave the link in the description box so you guys can check it out so i like applying this hair grease very well i massage it into her scalp and i go ahead to add her leave-in conditioner this helps moisturize her hair i started out by creating a part on the sides of her hair i did this on both sides of her hair and i also used this shine and jam um extra hold gel to make the parts guys i like using this um gel because it doesn't leave any white flake or any residue on when you're done with the hair so this is what i use in parting her hair and you know like creating a defined part on her hair and after doing the side part, I went ahead to um, also part the middle of her hair. Like I did the center part, as you guys can see. And I also used the Shine and Jam gel. You can actually use any gel of your choice, okay? I just like using the Shine and Jam gel because it doesn't leave any white residue or, you know, any um, flake. It doesn't flake when you're done with your hairstyle or when it dries on your hair. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left After parting the hair, I started making mini ponytails Guys, as you can see So I made the first one at the front And I used the shine and jam gel to smoothen the sides, okay Then I went ahead to use this colored um, rubber band To hold the hair now i also made a second ponytail and when you make the second ponytail you want to connect the first one to the second one as i did here just keep watching you're going to see what i'm doing so i used this time around i wanted to use like different colors on her hair so i used a blue um rubber band for this second one so i connected the first one to the second one before using the rubber band to hold both of them together so this is what you want to keep on doing okay till you get to the middle of the hair so guys if your child's hair is longer than mine you might want to make your ponytails bigger than this the only reason why i'm making her small is because her hair is still very short as you guys can see okay so if your child's hair is way longer than this then you might want you might go ahead and make bigger ponytails okay another reason why i love using that shine and jam gel is because it helps me grab every single short hair on her hair okay so you can get away with not using the chain and jam gel if you don't care much about the pattern now i'm also going to do same thing on the other side you just want to um grab the first hair and then you use the colored rubber band or you can actually use the black rubber band if that is what you want okay i just wanted to make her hair very colorful and beautiful so that is why i'm using um the colors on her hair so when you part out the hair you use the rubber band to um you know put it together and then we go ahead and do the second parting and when putting it together with the rubber band you want to make sure you add the first one you did at the front okay like i did in this video so you just want to add it to it and then you use the rubber band to tie them together so now guys i'm done with the front part and this is what it looks like so we're going to go ahead now and do the back and guys if your daughter's hair is shorter than mine i think you really want to pay attention to this back side because the back of my daughter's hair is very short especially the middle side it is very very short and i kind of did you know like i kind of did it a little bit different from what i did at the front okay so for this first side i actually did same thing like same way i did the front part okay but for the second row like just keep watching okay for the second row the hair there is very very short and i was able to you know like figure out a way to 
uh, manipulate it or a way to do it so it looks good okay so just keep watching so you see what i did there so you just want to keep doing the same thing we did at the front you know pat out your hair use the rubber band to hold it you pat out the second hair and you know you do the same thing but while holding the second one you want to join the first one to it okay and guys just watch what i did here when i pat out the third hair here i joined the one at the back and also i joined one of the hair from the front as you guys can see okay i joined them together and i used um the blue rubber band to hold the three hair together so you can just um take it back so you can see what i did there very well okay because i joined three hair together there so guys we are the part that is very very short okay and this is how i did it i first made the ponytails okay without joining them together and i think i did about four ponytails okay so if your child's hair is very very short this is probably how you are going to make all her hair okay so you want to make the ponytails first don't join them together just make um different ponytails just the way i did here without joining any of them together okay because we are going to join all of them together when we are done making all the ponytails so i made four ponytails as you guys can see and i grabbed a piece of mali hair a very tiny piece okay then i used this crochet pin to crochet it into the first um ponytail as you guys can see so you want to pull out like one side of the mali hair and now you want to um separate your daughter's natural hair or your like your main hair into two and then you want to go ahead and start twisting it i actually added um the shine and jam gel here just to blend the hair into the mali hair like my daughter's natural hair with the mali hair i used the shine and jam gel to blend it together and then i went ahead to start twisting them we'll go through the wastelands through the highways and on and on we'll go you don't want to twist it to the end okay just twist it a little then you want to grab the second hair and also grab the mali hair just like i did here okay and then you want to take the rubber band and hold both of them together so what you're holding together right now is the mali hair okay and the second um ponytail you made with your child's hair so like guys just i don't even think i need to explain it because i showed this very well i even zoomed in so you guys can see what i'm doing very well so it's very self-explanatory okay so after um joining both of them together you want to go ahead and separate that natural hair and then you want to start twisting them together and after twisting you also want to you know do it to the third um ponytail you know grab the ponytail and the mali hair use the rubber band to hold them together and then you want to go ahead and twist it so this is how you want to um do any part of the hair that is very short or if your child's hair is short all around then this is probably how you want to do every part of it i'll probably make a video you know like a full video using this style to do all my daughter's hair and i'm going to post that on my channel okay <laughs> So guys i'm finally done and to join everything together as you guys can see i used the mali hair okay i added it to the one at the front and the one at the side i just added it to the last um ponytail i made okay so i'm going to join everything together i'm using this um black rubber band to join um everything together and we are going to make a bone like a mini bone right there And to make this mini bun guys i took um three pieces of the mali hair and i used the scissors to um cut them into two okay then i used this um band to hold it together okay this is what we are going to use to make um the mini bun so i attached it to the hair there already as you guys can see and then i'm going to go ahead and use this mali hair to create a bun 
so this is what i did on both sides of the hair okay so yeah you just want to you know create a bun you can add as much mali hair as you want uh, it depends on um the size of the bun you want if you want the size of the bun to be bigger then you probably need to add more um, mali hair okay and make a bigger bun So yeah we are finally done with the hair and this is what it looks like guys it's so beautiful guys and this is so easy to make and you know like it's not heavy the bun is not heavy mali hair is very light and you can actually add um hair accessories to the bun if you want to okay so yeah if you're still here watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um like this video comment let me know in the comment section um if you're going to try out this hairstyle on your child and also thank you for supporting this channel thank you for coming back to always um watch my daughter's video i really appreciate that and see you guys in my next video bye